If you want to get the most out of the Ryzen 7 9700X, especially if you're pushing it past 90 watts, you'll need a reliable cooler. In this video, I'll highlight three standout choices for any budget, each offering a speed spot of performance, looks, noise levels, and ease of installation. Whether you're aiming for a whisper quiet build or want a bit of flash with RGB, these coolers can help you keep the 9700X running at its best without breaking the bank. You can check current prices for all CPU coolers mentioned in the description below. Let's jump in. Number 3. Be Quiet Dark Rock 5 – Best Budget CPU Cooler for Ryzen 7 9700X when it comes to CPU coolers, there are few names more iconic than Be Quiet. As the brand name implies, Be Quiet coolers are renowned for their whisper quiet operation and sleek, minimalist design. The same is true for the Dark Rock 5, the company's newest budget offering. While not as flashy as other coolers out there, this all performance single tower cooler is a great option for those who value noise levels and performance over everything else. The Dark Rock 5 is the successor to the legendary Dark Rock 4, and it comes with a lot of notable improvements. First off, it now uses an asymmetrical design for the heatsink, which improves compatibility with taller RAM modules. The new cooler also includes a Silent Wings 4 120mm fan, an improvement over the Silent Wings 3 fan seen on the Dark Rock 4. At full speed, the new fan operates at around 30 decibels, which translates to quieter and more efficient cooling. Its new installation process is simpler thanks to the prefixed mounting bridge and screws. There's also a new magnetic mesh top cover that provides a sleek finish, allows access to screws, and hides the heat pipe ends. Speaking of the design, this is one sleek looking cooler. The fan, heat sink, heat pipes, and even the CPU block at the top are all painted in uniform black color. This gives the Dark Rock 5 an almost inky jet black appearance. The lack of RGB might bother some, but that's intentional. This design will speak to those who are anti-RGB, and while that is certainly a bold choice, it works in favor of the right crowd. As for the structure itself, you get six high-performance copper heat pipes and a robust aluminum fin array. It's a single tower cooler, so the overall footprint isn't that big. You also get the option to install an additional fan at the rear, further improving performance. The CPU block features a nickel-plated base and comes with thermal paste pre-applied. Out of the box, the Dark Rock 5 comes with everything you need for the setup process. The heatsink itself, a Silent Wings Ford 120mm fan, mounting hardware for Intel and AMD, the magnetic mesh top cover, and even a screwdriver. If you're on an AMD system, you'll have to reuse the stock backplate, secure the mounting arms, and tighten the cooler with two screws. The process is nearly identical for Intel's processors with the LGA1700 socket. The Silent Wings 4 fan spins between 500 and 1900 RPM and operates at a 30 decibel max noise level. At lower speeds, under 1200 RPM, the fan is virtually inaudible, making it ideal for noise sensitive builds. Overall performance is just as impressive when testing with a CPU like the Ryzen 7 9700X. For the most part, temperatures will stay at around 70 to 72 degrees Celsius under full load. This is not only proof of Be Quiet's performance, but also of AMD's excellent efficiency with the Ryzen 9000 series CPUs. If you have a relatively recent AM5 CPU with a 65 watt TDP, this is a perfect match. Just keep in mind that it doesn't work as well for power-hungry Intel CPUs like the 14700K, and I recommend you go the dual tower or AIO route if you have such a CPU. The closest rival in terms of looks and performance to this cooler is the Noctua NHU12S. While the NHU12S matches its performance, it costs 20 to 30% more and sounds slightly noisier. The differences are slim, but the price gap between the two makes the Dark Rock 5 obvious. There are also cheaper options, like the Peerless Assassin 120, that fall under a different price bracket, but those coolers tend to be louder and less sleek in terms of design. To wrap it up, the Dark Rock 5 is not going to win any RGB contest, and it doesn't need to. With Whisper Quiet Operation, a simplified installation process, and a stealthy all-black design, it's a no-compromise cooler for mid-range builds. It's slightly more expensive than something like a Peerless Assassin 120, but you're getting better looks, lower noise levels, and superior build quality in return. 
I highly recommend it for those with an efficient AM5 CPU, like the Ryzen 7 9700X. To sum up, what I like is the near-silent operation, very sleek design, dead simple installation process, and great performance for most Ryzen 9000 CPUs. On the downside, no RGB might turn away some people, and not the best for power-hungry Intel chips. Number 2. Corsair IQ H150i Elite LCD XT – Best Premium CPU Cooler for Ryzen 7 9700X The Corsair IQ H150i Elite LCD XT offers premium heat dissipation and plenty of customization that makes it a great cooler for the 9700X. Corsair has used the H150 model name for their 360mm AIOs for a very long time, and, as the name implies, the CPU cooling block has an LCD display. The lighting and LCD can be controlled through the IQ application. The coolest feature of the display is that it can be used to display important information at a glance. If, say, the temperature is getting too hot, you can configure the LCD to glow red with the temperature being displayed either in Celsius or Fahrenheit. I like that because it can even display GIFs. The possibilities are endless since you can customize it to your liking. The display is a vibrant 2.1 inch IPS LCD screen with a 480x480 resolution that can produce an ultra bright 600 nits backlight. The color reproduction is amazing thanks to the 24 bit color depth. It is without a doubt one of the most vivid screens I've seen. However, the refresh rate is only 30 Hz, which can feel choppy at times, but it's more than enough in 99% of cases. Corsair has also upgraded the fans on the H150i, which now uses three 120mm ML120 RGB Elite fans. They are essentially the same fans as the previous model, with the same motor and blades, but the airflow has been improved. This is because, instead of the usual four-blade air vanes that are typically found in almost all fans, Corsair redesigned and added 12 blades that they call air guide vanes. These vanes are much narrower, and unlike the thicker vanes of the older version, they prevent air from being blocked and cause any disturbance in the airflow. Compared to the older fans, these fans are much more efficient and can offer the same level of cooling at 1900 to 2000 RPM that the older ones could at 2200 RPM. Being a 360mm AIO means that it can only fit in ATX cases. Despite that, the compatibility is great and the cooler fits on just about every socket available. The included brackets are for Intel's LGA 115X, 1200, 1700 and 2066, and AMD's AM4 and AM5, as well as AMD Threadripper STRX4 sockets. Of course, none of this would matter if the performance of the cooler was subpar. The cooler can remove 200 watts worth of heat if the fans are allowed to spin at 2100 RPM, which, however, introduces a bit of noise at around 55 decibels. This is still acceptable as long as the case has good noise isolation, but is quite loud in an open bench. Under normal load, the fans spin at just 550 RPM, which is practically silent at 15 decibels. Pushing a CPU like the Ryzen 7 9700X is no issue for this cooler, as it's still well within its maximum wattage at a full all-core load. If we look at other 360mm coolers that offer a great design, customizable LCD display, and top-notch performance, then the only other cooler I could think of is the NZXT Kraken Elite 360 RGB. The only advantage the Kraken has over the IQ is that the screen refreshes at 60Hz instead of 30Hz. Other than that, there isn't any significant feature of the Kraken that would make me recommend it over the IQ H150i. Also, if you decide to go with the Kraken, you do need to pay a hefty premium over the H150i, which may not be justifiable for everyone. All in all, if you're looking for one of the best CPU coolers for the Ryzen 7 9700X and budget is not an issue, then the Corsair IQ H150i Elite LCD XT is a great premium AIO cooler. To sum up, what I like is excellent cooling performance, extensive socket support, and available both in black and white. On the downside, it can be noisy at full speed. Number 1. Cooler Master ML240L RGB V2 – Our Top Choice 
When it comes to AIOs, it's very easy to overspend on features like an LCD display or VRM fans. While those high-end features are nice, buying a CPU cooler that's beyond $200 can significantly impact your overall budget. Instead, there are a lot of great budget options that still deliver great aesthetics along with excellent performance. The Cooler Master ML240L RGB V2 is one of these coolers, and it's one of the most practical choices you can make for a mid-range build. As the name implies, this is an iterative version of the original ML240L. The V2 trims the fat from its predecessor, swapping out the chunky pump block for a slimmer and more modern design. It also upgrades the fans to SickleFlow 120 ARGB Gen 3 units. These fans push more air, have significantly improved RGB LEDs, and feature a maximum speed of up to 1800 RPM. The rest of the foundation for this cooler is largely the same though. It uses a 240mm radiator that has a matte black coating on it, braid tubing, and a low profile pump block topped with a mirrored RGB accent. The entire setup is lightweight, and while the plastic pump housing lacks premium heft, it doesn't feel cheap. The real star is the dual ARGB fans, which cast a vibrant glow through their translucent blades. Inside the box, you'll find the 240mm radiator, pump block, two ARGB fans, mounting kits for Intel, LGA1700-1200, and AMD AM4-AM5, a tube of thermal paste, and a wired RGB controller. While installation is simple, there are a couple more cables to deal with because of the RGB controller. If you're not familiar with that sort of thing, the process might take a bit longer than usual. The radiator will fit easily into most mid-tower cases. The fans attach with standard screws and the RGB cables can be daisy-chained together. Circling back to the fans again, these sickle flow units strike a nice balance between airflow and noise. They're not as whisper quiet as something like a Noctua fan, but they are a step up from most cheaper AIOs. At full load, 1800 RPM, expect noise levels of around 45 to 48 decibels, which is quite respectable. Performance-wise, this is an AIO that pairs well with AMD's Ryzen 7000 and 9000 CPUs. While you wouldn't want to pair it with something like a Ryzen 9 9900X, its performance is more than enough for any Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 5 CPU. With a CPU like the Ryzen 7 9700X, temperatures peak at around 68 to 72 degrees Celsius under full load. It also does a good job with the 14700K, though temperatures are a bit higher, usually in the 80s. That said, the latest Intel CPUs are way too power hungry. The pump emits a faint hum at max speed, 27 decibels, while the fans stay relatively quiet below 1500 RPM. Even at 1800 RPM, the noise never gets overbearing. The ML240 LV2's closest rivals are the MSI MAG Core Liquid 240R V2 and the Corsair IQ Link H100i RGB. While both coolers are great choices in their own right, the Corsair one can often be more expensive at retailers, while the MSI has noisier fans. Depending on which one you can find the cheapest, there's no wrong choice here. However, the Cooler Master is the most well-rounded option. Apart from the somewhat finicky installation process, the Cooler Master ML240 LRGB V2 is a fantastic AIO for the money. You're getting a clean, compact design, tasteful RGB lighting, and good performance. The noise levels are great, and it pairs nicely with something like a Ryzen 7 9700X. With the value on offer here, it's a great choice for mid-range builds. To sum up, what I like is the beautiful high-performance RGB fans, great performance out of the box, respectable noise levels, and fits into 95% of cases with ease. On the downside, finicky installation process. Thanks for watching! I hope this helped you figure out which is the right CPU cooler for your build. Remember, you can check current prices in the description below. And if you're interested in more PC building suggestions and hardware reviews, be sure to check out more of my videos. Before you go, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to stay updated, and let me know your opinion and suggestions in the comments. See you in the next one.